Dave, as always, just a, a quick recap on the previous game, London Scottish here at the Bay. What's your uh, thoughts now that you've had time to, to look back at the clips? Yeah, I think real positive that uh, we're back to winning ways. I think that this block's been really kind of uh, hit or miss in terms of we had a bye week and then we've had uh, a reserve week as well. So the continuity of games hasn't been uh, there for us this block. And you can tell from a few weeks ago that we hadn't played against Coventry. Um, but we got back on track with a really good first half performance against London Scottish. Um, but the challenge this week is probably to put a, an 80 minute performance in because we didn't quite get that against Scottish. So there's a, there's a real big challenge in front of the boys for this week against Bedford. Have we spoken about this block of games before that the block just gone was, was hit and miss, weeks off, weeks on. Now we've got a, a solid seven blocks, yeah. six games now that we've, we've played one of, the, one of the seven, but we've got a solid block now where the boys can, can get their head down and they know what's in front of them rather than having to have weeks off here and there. Yeah, no, it's a real good run in now for us uh, all the way through to, to to past Christmas. So yeah, we're really looking forward to that and the continuity that we can bring uh, as well. Uh, we've got guys back from injury, the Leicester Tigers boys uh, that have been away for the Prem Cup over the past couple of weeks who are, who are dual registered with us will come back in and add a real depth to the squad. Uh, training this week's been really competitive as a, as a result of that, so everyone's really pushing hard for selection, obviously off the back of a really good win as well. So I think for us, uh, yeah, that continuity of play, we need to play every week to, to stay sharp and, and stay fresh uh, within our, our game plan and our, our structure. So so yeah, it's really exciting this block and uh, yeah, can't wait to, uh, to get into bed for this week. Nice to have the Tigers boys back, I guess, because they've been missing for two weeks now and, and so far they've played quite a vital role in in what's happened in our season so far. Yeah, they, they just had a, a good mix of depth into our squad. That There's a real bit of youth and excitement behind those boys as well. They're all young lads that are really, really keen to play week in, week out. Um, the good thing from the squad point of view is it's had competition at training. So the lads that have been training really hard um, with Nottingham over the past couple of weeks without those Tigers boys in have really stepped up and, and they got their reward with a really good performance against uh, London Scottish. So key for us this week is uh, getting our selections right um, and, and making sure that we pick the players that are really, really hungry and, and in form and, uh, and, and really want to get into Bedford. These Tigers boys will come back to Nottingham with, with two weeks of Prem Cup experience. Quite a few of them have, have got some decent amount of minutes over the past two weeks, so yeah. they'll come back fitter, stronger, hungrier, probably a little bit more intelligent from the two weeks that they've had with the parent club. Yeah, a really good experience for those guys. I mean, you, you play against Sale and uh, and Wasps and, and the strength of those two fixtures in terms of the opposition that they play is just massive for them. So the learnings will be will be huge. And and obviously, you know, Scott Hall and Josh Pooley from us stepping up to, to Tigers and playing there in the Prem Cup a couple of weeks ago will be massive for their experience and their development as well. So, uh, so yeah, as I say, it's, uh, you know, for us as a, as a coaching staff, some really, really good selection headaches. Um, and we've got to pick the guys that are hungry and, and, and really keen to put in a performance this week. On to Bedford then, what do you expect from them? Because they've got a very similar record to us, picked yeah. up a few more bonus points in us, but very very similar record to us. We know they're a strong team uh, and they've got some excellent Nuts boys in there as well. Yeah, Luke Frost and Two Yuru have played for, for Nottingham over the last couple of years. Really good lads, uh, played really, really well here for us. I'm really looking forward to catching up with them uh, pre-post-match. So, um, Bedford are a great team. I really love coaching against them because they play such a great brand of rugby. So for, for me as an attack coach, I really enjoy watching them and previewing them. And um, they've uh, they've had a you know transition in terms of their coaching staff over the, the, the big, since the beginning of the season. So they're doing a couple of things differently than they've traditionally done. But one thing that they will always do is attack. Um, and you know we've got to match that in terms of our defence and, and the physicality that we bring in D to try and stop that. But then at the same time, we've got to fire our own shots. We scored uh, five really good attacking tries against London Scottish at home. So we're uh, hopefully confident in that aspect of our game. So I think it's going to be a really entertaining match to uh, for anyone that comes along and watches. What will you and the rest of the coaching staff ask from our boys going to Bedford? Because results have been hard to come by on the road so far. Performances, yeah, have maybe been there. Is it just more, you know, do the same, putting good performances and the results will come? 
the championship is such a hard league. The margins are so, so small in terms of winning or losing um, or bonus points here and there as well. So I think the massive challenge that we've laid in front of the guys is an 80 minute performance. So I don't think we've quite had that yet this season. Yeah, we've had good wins. If you look at Amptill or you look at Hartbury at home and then even there against Lynn and Scottish there the other night. So the key for that is how can we make 60 minutes into 80 or 40 minutes into 70 and, and we can get a better all-round game performance so the guys have got that personal responsibility they've got that collective responsibility as well so that's the challenge that's really in front of the guys we know it's going to be a big physical game and um, you know Bedford will take us on and, and try and play so we've got to match that and uh, yeah we, we're really looking forward to getting our first uh, away win on the road if we if we know that we can put in an 80 minute performance.